We trying to get paid. Making money, making money, making make dollar, dollar. We trying to get paid. Making make money, making money, making yeah. save and invest. Stacking up checks. Let's go. Another day and another day of green. The easy money continues to roll in. Folks, how you doing today? It's your host, LaSalle Nunga. Remember to click like on this video. And now let's talk about the markets. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain my absence yesterday. I'm tired. I'm tired, not in the sense of being weak, but I'm tired of making money. I'm tired of being scared. I'm tired of pulling up the futures in the S&P 500, in the tech stocks every hour after the market closes because I'm terrified about the idea that we may wake up tomorrow or the day after and be down 10%. The money is coming in so quickly, so much that I'm at the point where I can't sell. I mean, I, I can't sell. I cannot convince myself to get out of the market, right? And and I want to ask a serious question. When the market is going up this much, this fast, when do you get out? I mean, how much is enough enough? And I'm someone who is very honest with themselves, you know? I know I put an, a lot of time into this game. I've studied a lot. I've read a sh I read a shitload of books about trading. You know, I get in at least 30 minutes of reading every day. There are a ton of trading books out there, some better than others. I'm good. I'm not a master, but I know I'm good. But from the results of my trading over the last, you know, six months, I know that I'm not that good. I'm good, but I'm not, you know, what I've put in and what I've gotten out good. And the only reason I'm not putting out a number out there is because I know people in my family are listening and they're going to ask me for a dollar as soon as I, you know, put it out there. You know. Because one day this isn't going to work. You know, and I don't know how I'm going to be able to handle that when it happens. You know, you I mean, you think it's a joke out there. You know, you know, pull up Netflix right now. You know, I didn't do any real serious research on Netflix, but I put in a shitload of money from my account into a Netflix position and it just goes up and up and up. You know, I got, you know, I get red days. Sure. But look at what, I mean, just look at what happens. You just sit back and let the money come in. And you just let the money come in. And the money's flowing, fellas. I mean, flowing. Do you understand me? You know, I got my old man into a, a low-fee tech ETF called XLK. I mean, this is a man who's never spent more than maybe 10 minutes doing any kind of research on stocks. You can't lose. <laughs> you can't lose. There have been trades where I've accidentally bought and made money. AMD two weeks ago. I'm literally fucking around. And if you're a trader, you know, shit happens. You buy 10 shares of something accidentally or a little bit less or a little bit more than you wanted to. And I made three bucks. The point isn't the three dollars. It's the fact that I didn't even mean to do it. And I still made money, bro. You know, we learned the other day that the Federal Reserve at its current pace will be one of the largest stockholders in America. So it's not us. We're not bright. We're not clever. It's not buybacks anymore. Remember buybacks? 2017, anyone? I mean, shit, these companies aren't even using their own money anymore. Apple used to spend $16 billion a quarter in buybacks. Now the Fed buys their stock for them. Apple, new 52-week high today since the very last session. I got a big pot every morning, and Jay Powell looks at me at 9.30 in the morning and says, feast, my child, feast. That's how I feel. Gold and silver got crushed today after the uh, ISM number came out. I don't care what anybody says. Silver will get to $50 within the next 24 months. Gold will be at $2,500 within the next 25 months, 24 months, excuse me, or higher. 
All right. Even though that ISM number showed a bounce, let's make it clear. We did have a Fed president come out and say that growth will be dismal into 2021. The market basically said, fuck that. And you saw PLAY, RRGB, those delicious Red Robin Gourmet Burgers, Live Nation. Look, I'm not bringing those stocks up just for fun. I mean, they're really making people a lot of money right now. By the way, banks are going to be the worst performing investment over the next decade. With this proposed Fed policy, they're not going to be making any money. You can look up JP Morgan. You can look up Citigroup, Wells Fargo. They haven't gone anywhere. They're not going anywhere. With money this cheap, they're not going anywhere. Just a waste. Great plays for non-directional strategies, though. I mean, if you're a non-directional trader, you've been loving the banks over the last, you know, three months, six months. You've loved it. I mentioned Facebook on Twitter the other day about how it's going to be the next trillion dollar company. I really believe that. I hope I'm not repeating myself here, but I really, really believe that. The Reels feature is amazing. Instagram still doing very, very well. Then again, they will always do well because it's built for narcissists and people who have severe personality disorders. You know, those people do very, very well on Instagram. They'll, those are the ones that are hooked on Instagram, you know, because it's a place for depressed people to go make themselves feel, you know, even worse, even worse. That's what that's entirely what Instagram is, you know, and that's why you'll see people who have like 30K, 50K on IG followers, but then they have nothing on YouTube or Twitter, you know, because on those platforms, you got to spit real knowledge, you know, to be good on YouTube or to be good on Twitter and on Twitter to get respect on Twitter. You've got to, you know, be concise. You got to provide a lot of value. You know, to succeed at Twitter, same thing as YouTube. You can't just post and go like Instagram. I mean, you got to speak well, deliver a clear idea. Look at the weekly chart on Facebook right now, setting up just like Tesla did. We're about to go supernova on Facebook. Mark my word. NVIDIA, high today. Peloton, same thing. You guys keep playing with Peloton. That thing is going to 100. It's not a joke. Do you know the Tour de France is going on right now? And guess where you can ride the Tour de France from home? That's right, on the Peloton. Right now, Peloton is allowing people to run the exact course of the Tour de France. And guess what? You can compare your speed and performance to the actual bikers in a race. No gym can do that. This is beyond a fancy bike for uppity people. All right? This is an a this is a fucking experience, man. This is an experience. You can't replace that. Some of you just don't get it. I told you last week that it was going to be your last time to get Rocket Mortgage in the 20s. And your opportunity has came and went. Rocket Mortgage, I'm in it heavy. Now, after hours, above 30. It is the Carvana for mortgages. Carvana, nice day today. It's competitive room, VRM, nice day today. CV, CVNA, VRM, looking very, very good. By the way, VRM volume is really picking up there as well, too. That's, that, that's, that's, that's CVNA and VRM, that's the PayPal versus Square. You know, that's that's a nice little, com, you know, uh, 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 battle going on there. It's like Home Depot and Lowe's. I pay looking good. PayPal and Square, as I just mentioned, new 52-week highs on both. Look, this cheap money that's going on right now, that the Fed is giving rich people money to buy stock, I'm not talking anymore about a slowdown at all. I'm, I'm not going to second-guess this thing. Folks, I'm on autopilot just like you, man. I'm going to sell when we get to the bridge. I mean, when we get to that bridge, then I'll sell. And, and, you know, look, you can't fit a herd through a nine, you know, foot door, whatever the slogan goes. I know that drawdown is going to be ridiculous when it happens. But I've got no choice. If you want to win, you got no choice. You got to sit in there and let the money come in. And when it stops coming in, you better hope to God you can get out fast enough. 
because that's what it basically is boiling down to now. All right. You got no choice but to be buckled in, mama. You know, you got to be buckled in. I know continues to be a dismal failure. You know, there were a lot of hopes that when Tesla did the stock split that I know was going to take off. But thanks to fractional, you know, investing, if you got five dollars, you can buy Tesla. Why buy the fucking Chinese version of Tesla? I mean, that that was just so retarded. Every time I heard somebody say that, well, it's the Chinese version of Tesla. Well, just, just go fucking buy Tesla. You got five bucks, you got 10 bucks Buy Tesla. You can do that now. MRNA continues to slide lower. 56 is firmly in sight. All of these COVID plays, biotech plays, are all falling apart, man. They're all falling apart. I really should be buying puts there. I've already lost thousands of dollars in RMNA in terms of the potential I could have made if I had bought some puts based on my crossover strategy, 10 and 25. But I didn't take advantage of it. There's still some meat there. Maybe I'll convince myself over the next day or two. Zoom, incredible earnings, but let's be honest, I'm back and forth on Zoom, but they are like the AOL of 2020. Zoom is AOL. I mean, they're introducing everybody to this thing, right, that, by the way, Cisco has had for years, but really never made it easy for people. But eventually, people are going to move on to like something bigger and better. Zoom is AOL. Zoom is like MySpace. That's what Zoom is right now. And everybody's loving it. Everybody's enjoying it. But you better believe I got a nice percentage of my trading account ready to go. Ready to go once this thing is all over for Zoom. And I'm going to ask that question that I tried to ask at the beginning of the show. With the market going the way it is, can somebody please tell me when do you get out? Because I don't know. I'm just going to continue to report on FANG. I'm going to continue to report on the stocks that keep working. Because I've seen so many people who had $500, $1,000, $10,000. All of a sudden have now trading accounts that are in the $50,000, $60,000 range. Just by being bold. I mean, just it's all you have to do now is be bold. That's literally all you've had. That's all I've been doing is just being bold. I put out a tweet back in April. I said, I'm not shorting the market anymore. And I was just like, fuck it. If you're going to take all my money, just take it. And it, if anything, it did exact opposite. Just started giving me money. And it started giving you money. And giving it and giving it and giving it. It's your boy, Sal. Tomorrow's another trading day. Trade well.